Cheers and welcome to Bitter Reality Brewing. Yes, this is the Blickman Brew Easy Compact Series. Some of this applies to Brew Easy. This one I'm thinking only applies to the Brew Easy Compact System. So we're gonna talk about the recirculation system and the recirculation arm, how to assemble it, the whole nine yards. Don't forget, like, subscribe, keep sharing. Definitely appreciate it. So this is the Blickman Compact Brew Easy. This thing kind of free floats, spins, shifts, whatever but I'm gonna take it apart. As you can see right now, it's all pre-assembled. So you simply put your hand up here, pull it, that's it. That piece comes right off. This is to keep you from burning yourself. That's why there's silicone there. It's got little tiny holes to allow for the flow for the recirculation. So we're gonna set that down. I'm gonna take the bulkhead piece off if I can. I may have over-tightened it. Ah, if you've over-tightened yours, Get a pair of pliers, wrench, whatever you need to do, loosen it up just a tiny bit, and it should come right off. There we go. That's it. So now that I have that off, I'm gonna take it apart and break it down so you can see all the parts. And this would be the same for NPT or the tri-clamp system because it's just a drilled hole. So first of all, you have your bulkhead and it has a little O-ring in here, just something to be aware of. And it has another O-ring on this side. That O-ring actually is what helps to seal on there. So when it gets pushed in here, that little like divot goes in and clamps into that O-ring. Also something to be aware of, this piece comes off and it has an O-ring. That's so you can get in there and clean it really good and make sure it's nice and clean. We'll put that back on so I don't lose it. It's very small. We're gonna set that there. It's a metal gasket. It actually goes on the outside, so be aware of that. I'm gonna take this apart, and I didn't show you over here. There's a metal gasket also, and then the little O-ring. So you have your O-ring, you have your metal gasket, which goes on the outer edge of that little O-ring. It literally will kind of lock in place. That's for the bulkhead piece that goes on the inside. This, the O-ring sits right inside, literally. That's for the outside. So you're gonna to have to put this in, set this over the top, and then screw this piece in. I'm gonna take this all apart so you can see it. Okay. My part on this came pre-assembled and it is like, <laughs> somebody was Hercules, tightened it down, so I'd probably gonna need a good pair of pliers if I want to take it apart. They put some Teflon tape in there, so I'm gonna actually leave mine the way it is for now, unless there's a reason I need to get it, take it apart, put some fresh Teflon. I'm gonna leave that alone, but that's the little elbow piece. That's the piece that kind of gives it that turn or curve. Here's the plastic, which you'll want to clean. This plastic has an O-ring at the top. If I can get it out. Not the easiest thing to pull apart, there it is. And it's got a little plastic, a little plastic bullet. It floats up and down. Get your piece on top here. This is going to let you set an indicator to let you know what your flow is. So if it's up here, you know you're at eight and you want to be down here at four liters or you wanna be at one gallon, you have to adjust it and then you have to adjust your pump to bring that flow down. So let's take this off. And you can take this off too if you want. Okay. Mine came pre-assembled for these pieces, just so you're aware. But if yours is not, that's why I'm doing this, just in case you take it apart and forget which goes where. I think they're the same size. I have not played with them, but I'm gonna leave that alone. So, and then this is literally NPT connection. Hooked to a tri-clamp. So it's NPT to tri-clamp, that's all. And then same thing here, we got tri-clamp, little piece for the hose, nothing special with the ring. So we're gonna put that back together. So like I said, there's no reason to take that part all the way apart. Seen that in many of the videos already. Okay, so that's the elbow and that's the piece that hangs down here. I do recommend putting this together before you try. It's very hard to get that tri-clamp around the outer edge if you don't already have it pre-assembled. So that's pre-assembled. I'm gonna take this, put it all back together again. So as we go to put it back together, I'm kind of gonna go in reverse of the way I went the first time. So I have this. Pull that back together. There's an O-ring and there's this little piece that 
the pieces sit inside. So if you see how they're kind of sticking out, ah, they are different. The top one sticks down a little further. It's a little longer. You can see that. And this is a little shorter. So the short one goes on the bottom. The O-ring goes in between that and the plastic to seal it up. This piece goes on top, screws in, and technically now it's the bottom. That's it. Now we take this, and before we do that, we gotta put this piece back down. It looks like a, kind of like a crayon, a really cool little red crayon. Okay, we just drop the pointy side down. We take this piece, flip it upside down, so the points are pointing inside. We take this O-ring, seal it up, put this on top, and screw it back together. Now this is kind of important because this piece will free float until you snug it down. So you're gonna want to snug it down, but having this face that way so that you can see the markings. Because if you screw it around this way, you're not gonna see the markings. They're gonna be up against the metal. So you want it like this, hold it in place and tighten it down. There we go. And it just has to be snug, don't go crazy. That's it, you're done there. So this piece goes on here again, and we'll tighten that down. We'll just spin it around here. And again, if you do this and it comes out where it's gonna be facing the wrong direction, there we go, just like that. Should flow like this. See, like this, flows like this. That's it. So now I'm gonna take it, I take the bulkhead, you gotta go back in here, put the bulkhead in, Got your bulkhead in here. Put this piece like that. And it's a little easier here if you shove the O-ring and everything in there, kind of get the metal flange on the outer. There you go, I got the outer perimeter and it's sitting on top of that O-ring. You take this part of the flow control and you have to spin the bulkhead piece inside. You're not gonna wanna spin this. <laughs> it's not gonna work. <laughs> just do it like that. And just get it nice and snug you should be good. If you wanna tighten it up, just be careful, don't over tighten it. I mean, you wanna get it nice and tight, but you don't wanna go crazy. That's it. Don't forget, you put this back in. You don't want this in there until you get your grain basket in. Once you get your grain basket in, then you can put this in, you can mash in. The other key is, is when you go to take your grain basket out, you have to take this out first, or you're not gonna get your grain basket out. It's just not gonna work. This will be in the way. Yeah, so. I'm gonna put mine back in there just so I have it where I need it and I know where it is. That's it. That's your nice little return flow control for your recirculation kit. Nothing real fancy, it's got a lot of parts, but the parts really aren't too difficult. Um, understanding where the parts go is of course important. Understanding how to get that metal flange on the outside of that rubber O-ring on both sides is important. That way you seal it properly. Otherwise it's gonna be off and that metal ring will be sitting down. The flange should be sitting on the outer edge and not hanging down. The O-ring should be right inside of it. Just something to be aware of. Thank you again for joining us here at Bitter Reality Brewing. Don't forget, like, subscribe, keep sharing. Definitely appreciate the support. Thank you and cheers.